Never let a crisis go waste. Not my words. These are the famous words of Winston Churchill. The coronavirus crisis is no different. It has caused global chaos, but it has also forced some positive changes. More people are spending time at home with their families now than whiling away their weekends at malls. More people are learning to appreciate simpler pleasures of life than splurging and putting more pressure on the environment. Here are the five big positive fallouts of this crisis. People across the world are spending more and more time with their families now. Schools and colleges are closed. The children are home. Parents too are mostly working from home. This social distancing has closed the gap between family members. They are eating meals together, watching the news together and spending some quality family time. Silver lining number two. Pollution levels have fallen drastically in the wake of the coronavirus. Cars have gone off the road. Power plants and factories have been closed. There are fewer generators running. As a result of all this, nitrogen dioxide levels have gone down. It is happening in Italy. It happened in China. These images from NASA are proof. On your left are China's nitrogen dioxide levels on the first 20 days of January. Notice the significant drop on the right. These are satellite images taken between the 10th and the 25th of February. The coronavirus outbreak has unwittingly forced the world to follow the climate action agenda. People are avoiding getting on a plane. They are also avoiding animal products. Wildlife sanctuaries, national parks and coral reefs are tourist free. In short, the virus has reduced the world's carbon footprint. This is silver lining number three. The coronavirus has sobered our consumerist tendencies. Shopping centers are closed. Jet setting to fancy resorts is a big no no. Splurging on over the top meals aren't an option either. Pubs and bars have been shuttered down. Multiplexes and cinema halls are no go zones. So, where does one spend his or her money? Even flea markets and bazaars are sporting the lock. Silver lining number five. People have finally started paying attention to their health and hygiene. Sanitizing hands and washing them regularly are no longer categorized as an obsessive compulsive disorder. Things that we were taught in our childhood, like avoiding touching our face, eyes, and mouth, are finally being put into action. It takes 21 days to build a habit. But the coronavirus has fast-tracked the habit of cleanliness. Overall, in the last couple of weeks, people around the world have started appreciating old values and simple experiences. From the good old namaste to a cup of coffee at home with the family. Let's hope we keep the learnings even when the crisis is over. Bureau Report, we on World is One.